So this is part two of the Kwanzaa overview and in this video we'll be talking about and showing some cool videos of these systems that we spoke about in part one. So all of Kwanzaa solutions are used for either teaching and or research. So now we'll be speaking about the Rotary Family Controls, which is one of our most popular experiments. Also about the Mechatronic Controls experiments. Uh, we have a wide range of robotics and haptic solutions. Uh, we have a range of unmanned vehicles and aerospace experiments as well. And then we have a bunch of new experiments and new initiatives that we're taking, uh, whether it be the cube, the wind turbine, or our recent alignment with national instruments. So let's get right into it. Rotary control. So here we'll talk about the QET, the mech kit, and really we should be talking about the cube here. Um, so rotary family controls. We'll leave the cube for later, mainly because it's a new product. But here you see the QET. So again, the, the, this is the QET Kwanzer Engineering Trainer. DC motor control trainer. Uh, and as you saw the picture there, so Dr. Carl Astrom actually worked with us to develop the curriculum for this, for this experiment. And it's actually a DC motor with, a, you see a digital optical encoder. And you've got, uh, you've got, so here you've got a digital optical encoder, but you've also got a potentiometer on the right side here, an analog potentiometer. So you can actually uh, wrap this band right around and now, um, you know, you can take analog measurements. And so this motor, by the way, it's a Maxon DC motor. It's a really high quality motor. And what they're showing here are, so you're able to interface with this system a multiple uh, in, a, in, a, in a range of different ways. So one is, you know, you can just plug it straight into the USB and you're off to the races. You, you plug that into your computer. There's a Java interface that goes along with the QET and uh, perhaps at a later time we can do a video um, perhaps on the on the QET itself. Here you have RCA cables so you can read out the potentiometers, the tachometers, uh, the encoder you can read it directly uh, just by you know now interfacing these terminals with a NI data acquisition card or a Quans or a Q2 board or a Q, Q8 USB board. Uh, so there's a whole range of different options here. There's also an analog breadboard that you see up on top left there, and that can be used to, to design um, analog uh, controllers and implement those on the system as well. So again, the QET is, is one of our introductory controls experiments, and it's amazing at uh, what it can do for the price point. So if you're teaching an undergraduate controls course, that's something you want to learn more about. The Rotary Family experiment is really our, I would say, our most popular line. Uh, this is is what Jacob uh, started, Dr. Upkarian started the company with, and it's essentially, as you see there, a quant, it's a plant, it's an SRVO2 system, it's nothing too complicated, um, but there's a lot that's gone into it. And what I mean by that is that, you know, this system just by itself, um, well, you'd need a data acquisition card and a power amplifier and, you know, uh, MATLAB Simulink or LabVIEW software to actually drive this system. And so one of the first things about the SRV02 is that it is open architecture. So just like I said, you know, you can use it with MATLAB and Simulink or you can use it with LabVIEW or you can, you know, design your own C code and, uh, I mean, it's really designed for a teaching and research space, and so uh, it's very, it's, it's incredibly open architecture in that sense. Um, the second thing uh, that really makes the SRVO2 or the Rotary family a a great option for controls labs is that it's highly modular. So, for example, I just spoke about position and speed control, but you can just as easily teach. You know, you can. It, you can uh, turn it into an inverted pendulum system. So there you go. So what you're seeing here is is now, you know, instead of just teaching speed and position control of the, the basic servo motor, you can actually mount a module on top 
and here you're inverting in a pendulum. So this pendulum is actually being balanced by the system and all you have is an encoder here. So you have a sec, in this video we're showing an analog encoder, but uh, the new systems, uh, all the new ones have digital encoders. Um, but this is, here, let's put some, some volume in there. Okay, no volume. So let's take a look at a few other, uh, this is the double inverted pendulum. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, let me, I'll, I'll. So you see there, that's a double inverted pendulum. So you've got uh, an encoder there and at the bottom as well. So you've got one encoder there and you've got one encoder here. But essentially the only actuator you have is right there. And so you're balancing both those pendulums. Again, you're using MATLAB, Simulink, and Quark software to make this all happen. Uh, another example is, again, when I say the SRV02 or the Rotary family's module, modular, what I mean by that is it's truly modular. You can even take, let's say you have 10 of these systems set up in your lab, um, you can take those 10 stations and collapse them into five and actually connect, uh, you know, two pieces, two of the servos together with a robotic arm um, like you see here. And then again, on top of that, you see now in X, Y. So now you're balancing this pendulum, not just only in one direction, but in two directions. So a great you know, experiment or platform for doing research. Um, but again, you see how uh, there is a trend, obviously, right now in, in, in academia where you, know, you need to save money and uh, what better way to do it than to use the same equipment for both teaching and research where you can teach position speed control you know and then you can use that same equipment to do your research that's that's really i think um one of Kwanzaa's key strengths is, are those two things is open architecture and modularity so here you see another system a flexible flexible joint system again i can talk about each one of these forever but um, in the interest of time, we will continue. I just want to show one of my favorite ones. Um, again, this is two servos on the bottom, one here, one there. And you see here, you have a camera on top. And that camera is your feedback system. So the idea is, is to balance this plate uh, and to balance that ball and to create a shape out of it or to do whatever you want. But essentially, you know, here's the hardware. Um, you know, now whatever you can conjure up in MATLAB and Simulink or in LabVIEW, you can pretty much implement on this system. So it's great. So there's about 14 different modules. Recently, Kwanzaa has invested a lot of money in our peripherals, our hardware peripherals. So if you're a Kwanzaa um, client, and there's, I think, something like 2,500 universities out there that are using our products, you might be familiar with our larger UPMs, our big power amplifiers, and our and our uh, not so nice looking data acquisition cards. So you see here, this is a new line of DACs and, and amps. And uh, this is actually a Volpac. So there's a Volpac X1, X2, X4. And again, we'll save the details for another video. So there's also virtual labs. This is something that's important. So again, every lab, I, I, this video here is not the best. It's actually really terrible. The, the new ones are much, much better. So here it is. As you see, the visualization is just awesome. And so you students can use this to do their pre-labs. They can pretty much run the entire lab and get familiar with their controllers and tweaking gains and whatnot. And that way, by the time they come in the lab and they're working with the hardware, uh, they, 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 they've already got that, that feeling for the system. Curriculum development, so again, we put a lot of effort, we work with professors, we will try and align with ABET, and uh, our curriculum is outstanding, it's, it's, it's top notch, and we're, it's always getting better. So that covers the Rotary family. I'm gonna uh, kill the video there and then start another one for the next uh, session here.